One of the easiest ways to prevent excessive water from coming in your basement during the rainy season is to disconnect your downspouts that are connected to the sewer system. Going to cut the downspout and install and extend the spout so the water will not go into the drain but drain into the backyard. First thing to do is to unscrew the lowest part of your downspout. We take our extend the spout and we need to know where to cut the gutter. Like this, so it's going to be about that height. And we'll draw a little line, a pencil line. That's where we'll be cutting our gutter. Once the screws are removed, the gutter should slide down easily. And you can remove it. And at this point, we're going to install a rubber cap in the sewer to prevent anything from falling down. The, the cap we have is, is a tight fitting seal. It fits on the inside of the pipe. This is one method. Other methods are putting newspaper in there and cementing the top. Uh, and this is to prevent animals from leave, living in there or debris from falling in and clogging your sewer. We're ready to cut the, the existing gutter so we can attach our extend the spout. I've made a line so we're going to continue that line across the gutter. A couple of different ways to cut a gutter. One is using a hacksaw to make a straight cut or if it's towards the end it might be easier to use a pair of tin snips. I prefer to start it with the hacksaw and finish with the tin snips. Before I install it I'm going to fit the extender spout on it. You want to extend at least 18 inches out or more past your foundation. You don't want any of the rainwater to go back to your foundation which could cause more water and leaks on your foundation. So now we're ready to put the gutter back together. I still have the two screws I took off. I didn't lose them. When redirecting your downspouts, the one important feature is to make sure that your rainwater is going to be ending up on your property. You don't want to end up causing excessive flooding on your neighbor. So you want to extend it towards your backyard so the rainwater stays in your backyard, goes to the center of the yard, and then seeps into the ground. We've extended one of the downspouts of this home. There are four or three other ones that still need to be done. Every downspout needs to be extended away from the foundation, away from your drainage unit to help prevent water from coming in your basement.